Odysseus and his men had been sailing the sea and were ready for some time on dry land. They came across an island that had a large cave opening. Being as brave as they were, they did not stop to think of who lived in the cave. The men ate the food and drank the liquids in the cave. They lay their heads down for a rest. As they were asleep, in came a large cyclops named Polyphemus leading his flock of sheep. He rolled the giant rock to cover the doorway. When he turned to find the men in his cave, he grew angry and rather hungry. So he picked up two of the men, bashed their heads together and had them in one bite. Then Polyphemus fell asleep. Odysseus and his men had nowhere to go. They could not move the stone. In the morning, Polyphemus woke up, had two more of the men for breakfast, rolled open the door and took his sheep outside. Odysseus had nowhere to go. Odysseus came up with a plan. Him and his leftover men took a large bit of wood that was used as furniture and made a sharp point. When the Cyclops came back that evening, Odysseus offered him some of their strong wine that they'd brought from them off their ship. Because Polyphemus had never drunk this wine before, it made him act quite silly and then he got very sleepy. He fell asleep straight away. Just before he fell asleep, Polyphemus asked Odysseus what his name was. Being a sneaky man he was, Odysseus replied, no man. Then Polyphemus fell into a deep, deep sleep. The men took the sharpened wood and put the point into the fire until it was bright red. With all the strength that the men had, they took that point and shoved it right into Polyphemus' eye. Polyphemus jumped up screaming and shouting. All the other cyclopses around the island came running to see what was happening. They asked him, Polyphemus, who did this to you? And he replied, no man. So. The other cyclopses laughed and left him to be. The next morning, Odysseus and his men tied themselves to the bottom side of the sheep. Polyphemus awoke and walked his sheep outside as he always did. Now that he had no sight, he felt the tops of the sheep to make sure there was no one riding on top of it. Odysseus and his men had a lucky escape and were able to make their way back to their ship. Once Odysseus and his men had reached the ship, they called out to Polyphemus, It was not no man that did that to you, it was in fact Odysseus that had blinded you.